Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. This is going to be a very long video. If you do not have time to watch, bookmark this, come back to it later, make sure you watch this. And as we go into this, angelic messaging is going to become more and more imperative. So please make sure that you are tuning in when I post these so you are informed. This is all about being prepared for a new 20 year cycle. It begins now. You've already seen what's been happening here in 2024. That's not the half of it, okay? So there's going to be so much more to come. Make sure you are subscribed. You have the notification bell on. Tune in when these pop up, okay? Now, the reason why I have so much to talk about, first of all, there's been so many things happening in the world. You already, I'm sure, are well informed of that, so we don't need to go through all that. But as I'm recording this, there is a massive storm system going across the United States. If you live outside of the United States, and you don't understand how big the U.S. is, it's huge, okay? <laughs> it's huge. So a storm system that stretches across, you know, from top to bottom of the United States and is sweeping through, that's a big deal. So stay safe out there, guys. I love you. I know a lot of you have asked me if I'm okay because now I live in Ohio. Um, we're just getting rain and wind from it. So we're not getting, like, the tornadoes and the blizzard conditions and all of that. So we're okay here. Please check on your neighbors. Make sure everyone is all right. Now, the other thing that I do every once in a while is I talk about my services. So I'm going to go into that here. I'm going to take a few minutes to do that. If you choose to skip ahead and then later you come to get a service, I'm just going to send you the timestamp and link to this video. <laughs> so you can skip it if you want. But if you want a service, you're going to come back and have to watch this anyway. Okay. Because there are a few things that I'm going to change. As you guys know, I'm ever watching what's working, what's not working. There's a reason why live readings and live courses are not on my website. And that is because they won't always be available. As a matter of fact, I'm working on a couple of things. Still, those are still in the works. Um, I don't know if I will continue readings at all. Um, or maybe it's just the live readings that go. I'm not sure yet. Okay, so if you want one you know, don't wait. <laughs> if you want one, get in here and do it because I don't know what things are going to look like down the road. But for now, they are being offered and there is a lot of misconception around the offerings. Okay, so let's break this down. We're going to start with standard readings or what I refer to as standard readings. I say standard because those are the readings I have always offered. They're always there. Those are the ones that you book at angelsouls444.com. That is my website. You cannot get a reading unless you see the terms, the wait time, and a boundary that I have put in place, which says, please do not contact me before the due date. If you do not have your session, your email, by the day after the wait time, let me know something probably happened. Okay, maybe you didn't show up in a list. That's only happened once in 10 years, but it did happen. So we know it's possible, right? So Keep that in mind, all right? So please respect those boundaries and please don't pretend like you didn't see the wait time. You cannot get the reading without seeing it at least a couple of times, all right? And I'm gonna be very transparent with pricing. That way you have all of the information right here. Standard readings are $95 per 30 minutes. You can book as much time as you want with the standard readings. You'll fill out a form, the submission form, and then you're in line, okay? So... Each day I go through, I take care of those readings, I create, I do the service, right? It's a service, but I deliver it via MP3. So it's a voice recording that gets emailed to you. Those don't require any time commitment on your part. So those are really good if you want like a 2024 overview, but maybe you're busy. Maybe that's more in line, uh, in line with your budget. That's how good you would get a standard reading, Okay. Live readings are a little bit different, and this has been a little bit of an experiment. So here are the things that I'm going to change around this. I'm giving you the information up front. So if you are interested in booking, I would assume the email you send me is to book it. You should be prepared to pay when you are booking. It used to be when we get the date figured out, then you pay. It, it doesn't work. <laughs> that does not work. What I have is a lot of people just not respecting my time and going back and forth, dragging it out, expecting me to hold spots open when I could have put another 
client in there and they end up paying out at all. So new parameter around that, those live reading sessions are $130 per 30 minutes. And I will say this, if you are judging me in any way, shape or form for my prices, let me remind you, one, I'm good at what I do. I'm good at what I do. I've done this professionally for over a decade and even non-professionally long before that. I know what I'm doing and I'm worth the money. And if you're watching this, I would encourage you to take that same stance about yourself. You are worth more. And if people want to make you frustrated, tear you down, oh my God, I can't believe she's just saying that out loud. Watch it. We're in a new 20 year cycle and we're not taking that anymore. That is done. I've been warning you that it's done. It is done. Okay. So it's $130 per 30 minutes. 30 minutes goes by very, very quickly in a live reading. If you've gotten a 30 minute live reading with me, comment down below. Did you feel like it went really fast? <laughs> Because even I'm shocked. Like I look up and I'm like, oh gosh, we have five minutes left. So please plan accordingly, okay? What I mean by that is if you show up late, you show up 10 minutes late, you only have 20 minutes left in your reading. The time is not going to be made up at the end. Of course, we have all kinds of different personality types and personality disordered people who come in, think that they, you know, can stroll in whenever they want. And of course, you're going to, because we got started late, so you're going to make up the time. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. You, it's your time. And if you want to waste it, that's on you, right? So having said that, and because the 30 minutes goes very, very quickly, I would highly encourage you to come with your questions ready to go. Tell me what you want me to tune in about at the top of the reading. And then let me talk. I know. I know. <laughs> Some of you might be like, oh, wow, people don't let you talk. No. <laughs> And then they're shocked when we have five minutes left. And they're like, but I haven't even got my reading yet. Yeah, I know. I was giving you the reading, but you weren't listening. Okay, so we want to be careful around that as well. Now, again, please remember, if you feel like you want to come in, some people just need to talk and be heard and loved and understood. And I get that, okay? And it's completely fine. But then maybe book an hour so that you have time and you don't have to rush through what you want to say, okay? So there is that. What you will do now that you know the pricing around it, you can email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. I still have spots open this week as of the recording of this. We'll get you in. But when you come in, when you email me, my name's Michelle, by the way. I've been called Veronica. I've been called <laughs> Melissa. Someone called me Michael. Um, it's cool. I mean, I know who you're talking to. It's fine. But or dear angel, I think that's cute actually. But <laughs> my name is Michelle, in case you didn't know. Um, but go ahead and email me angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Let me know how much time you want, what days and times tend to work for you, and what time zone you're in. Please keep in mind that I am now in Eastern time zone, so I'm in the same time zone as New York City. Okay, also please keep in mind I'm going back to the standard readings. Okay, so live readings are over here. Standard reads. I currently have a code active for you to get 25% off of a standard reading, not a live reading, not a live course. And I will also say this, please pay attention to this. If you try, I'm only going to keep that active for the next 15 clients and then it's going to go. Okay. So if you watch this and you go in and you're trying to put the code in and it's not working, it has expired. So you know, these are just some of the behind the scenes things and you may as well tune in because no other reader is going to talk like this. They're not going to tell you. They're not going to tell you. As a matter of fact, they're probably the ones sitting back sucking air through their teeth going, oh my God, I can't believe, I can't believe you don't talk about this more. We know it's happening. Watch it enablers. Especially if you're somebody sitting there going, Michelle, God, you're going to lose clients. Why is she talking? You're part of the problem. And guess what? Those people who are toxic and carrying dark energy and you're enabling them, then you're a part of their scheme. That's going to come back on you. So be careful. So there are the, the standard readings with the code, the live readings. And here's something that I have never shared with any of you. I've, I've been doing this for quite some time. I don't think I've just ever told you. When I have a client come in and they are beautiful, good-hearted, they've respected me every step of the way. 
When I get done with that reading, whether it's a standard reading or a live reading, I always take extra time to meditate and pray that that person's life is filled with blessings, abundance, prosperity, and love, good health, protection, all of that. I take extra time to do that. When I have a bad client who is toxic, arrogant, making presumptions, treating me like an employee, not respecting my time, I still pray, but I don't pray for you. I pray for the people around you. And that's the truth. That's the truth. Who's, it, who's being an enabler right now? Who's judging me for saying this? This is an example of setting boundaries. And if I'm going to talk about it, I got to live it, right? I'm going to live it right in front of you. Let's talk about courses. So I offer live for right now. I don't know if this will last, but for right now, I'm offering live courses. There is connecting with your angels. So this is a course that helps you connect with your guardian angels and understand, you know, what signs they're bringing to you when they're around you. Is it a spirit guide or is it an angel or is it something else? We do one-on-one -on -one training. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> I got, okay, well, I'll finish this course thing and then I'll go back. Um, cause someone brought up an excellent question and I want to clarify, but let's finish this first. So there is, um, connecting with your angels, or you can choose an archangel that you want to basically workshop with. So if you want to work with Metatron, you need to be working with Metatron, especially in these times, be working with Metatron, whether you do it with me on your own with someone else, it doesn't matter. Make sure you're working with Metatron. You need that protection and that spiritual preparedness. Okay. But you can come in one hour session. $260 for the one hour sessions for those, okay, for working with an archangel. I also have a Merkaba class and an Akashic Records class. You cannot take either the Akashic Records one or the Merkaba class unless you take the Connect with Your Angels course. You got to do that first. All of those are one hour, $260 there for the hour. If you want more time, you can book two of them back to back if you want. That's up to you. But there's a whole other series that I'm doing. This is priced differently. This is the angel mediumship series. It's four one hour classes where it's tailored to you. You can use this for personal or professional use one-on-one, -on -one, right? And I coach you through that process. Those are $300 per one hour course, or you could buy all four, okay, for 1,000. You get a little bit of a discount if you do it that way. You can choose to take one and none of the others. You can take two, three, maybe you decide the fourth one I don't need. That's fine, okay? If you do buy the whole package for 1000 again, I'm putting all this out there. So if you email me, it shouldn't be, can I get more information? You'll get a link to this timestamp right here. <laughs> right? That's, and you got to look at that, okay? Um, I'm going to assume you're ready to book. But if you do the $1,000 package, um, as I've just come to learn best practices, um, probably... I would recommend you do one of those classes every other week. If you need to let a month go in between, that's okay. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't let two, I mean, it's all personal to everybody, but you know, I may not even be offering these in a few months. So you want to make sure you get them in. Okay. Does that make sense? So there are all the offerings. The thing that I forgot to mention, someone asked me something I thought was a great question. They said, is, is this live like streamed on YouTube or something? <laughs> no. No, this will not be broadcast to anybody else. This is between you and me. And all of these live sessions are conducted via Zoom. So that means you need to test your Zoom before you get on there. Okay. Make sure it is ready to go. I do record the session. Please hear me carefully. The recording is not guaranteed on a Zoom live. Let me say that again. The recording is not a guarantee on a Zoom Live. That's just a little extra bonus, okay? So make sure you're taking notes. The reason why I say that is because most people, you know, it comes on and announces that you're being recorded, but sometimes people, you know, just didn't hear that, you know, they were surprised that they're getting a recording. I have tried to send the recording to people and for whatever reason on their end, they can't figure out how to open it and then they kind of start harassing me about it. That will get you blocked. And no, you're not entitled to anything because you've already gotten your service. That is just an added bonus. It's, that's not the service. That's not what you're paying for. You're not paying for the recording. 
you're paying for the service, which you already got. I hope that clears everything up. Obviously, if you have questions, leave them in the comments below this video. Okay, so we can clear all of that up. One quick other thing, and this is all part of the message really, like just how people are treating one another. And this is a great example and how we have to kind of go back and straighten up boundaries. Um, one other thing on this, there is a platform that has reached out to me and wants me to start coming over there. I have to, I'm already getting punished by this platform for having talked about the clock app. They have completely tanked my ad revenue and I know exactly why they did. So I'm not going to say this platform right out. It's not the clock app. It's the one that's known for being, I, I think conservative, which I'm a little nervous about because sometimes conservatives don't like this stuff. You know what I mean? So I was a little shocked that they reached out to me and asked me to come over there, but, um, start with R. <laughs> Some of you have recommended it. Leave your comments down below. Cause I want to know what you think of that. If you think that's a good move, do you think I'm going to get harassed over there? Cause I ain't in the mood. Okay. <laughs> I ain't in the mood. Anyway, <laughs> we got a lot going on. So there is all of that. Now, if you're like, Michelle, you just spent nearly 20 minutes talking about that. Well, it was for good reason. And it has to do with, one, the message of make sure you are protecting yourself. You need to be ready for spiritual warfare. The people that do not, like in the whole thing I just explained, the people who do not respect others or they come in an arrogant way. I had a client one time, and I can say this, this person hasn't come back since, but um was very rude in booking the session. Did I say that payment is due before we even choose a time? Oh, I didn't say that. Wait, we got to back up. We ain't done yet. Sorry, we got to back up. So if you're going to book a live session, I will respond to you and say, it's this amount of money and this is how you pay. Payment is due right then. Okay. Yes. And this is part of it. Some of this disrespect is waiting. And, and some of it comes from like long-term clients who know better, right? But they think they're above the rules. They don't have to respect me. I don't know what it is, but payment is due right then and there. Okay. There is no, I'll pay right before we get on the session. No, if you want a time, you got to pay. Okay. So there's that. But you see what I'm saying? There is a lot of dark energy that is amping up. There is quite, they're talking about the overlay. And a lot of these people, even if they're disrespectful, I wouldn't say that they're all bad people. They've all been highly afflicted. Okay. Okay highly afflicted. You want to talk mind control. You want to talk energy manipulation. And then a lot of people are short circuiting. So all they know is to do to others what has been done to them. And this is where we see a lot of people manipulating a lot of people. There'll be narcissistic injury around this video because I just spent 20 minutes setting a boundary. And I just spent 20 minutes you know, addressing even enablers, judgmental people. When that comes back on you, don't play victim. Do not play victim. So here is the promising point, though. In the coming years, we're going to have more and more awakening moments. Unfortunately, those are coming through these catastrophic events. They are coming through things that jar us out of our stupor and make us realize, you know, this needs to be the priority, not that. It's not worth it to go running after a Stanley Cup. Have you seen this? Oh my gosh. I got um an imitation Stanley Cup for <laughs> for Christmas. But like I would never have purchased that for myself. It's really cute, but I again I would not have purchased that for myself. But we're gonna start realizing just how controlled we are. I've been saying this for years. Banks are going to collapse. It's happening. That's happening sooner than you think. Blackouts. Yes. Um, internet going down. Yes. What's new? Like we, we've been saying this. If you're going to do the prep, and I know a lot of people are doing that, don't do it out of panic. Do it out of... Well, I mean, the physical prep, make sure you're logistical about it, but your spiritual wellness matters. Your spiritual wellness matters. It is going to be your most effective tool in times to come. And if you were one of these people who just went into spiritual practice because you wanted to feed off of uh, other people or you wanted to have control over other people, you want to be above other people, you could play whatever games you want. Um... It will be ineffectual in the end. 
you will still have to pay for that. So if you need to dig deep, question yourself, question your behavior, question what you do to others. I'm not saying it's going to happen in a week. I'm not saying that at all. But it's going to happen. And you better make sure you are landing on the right side of history. What I just said in the first 20 minutes, that's going to age a lot better than what some of you are saying and how some people are behaving. People 20 years from now, if ever this is still existing, may come back and look at this and go, wow, someone actually had to say that? That people were doing that? That's how people thought? That's how they acted towards one another? Or we won't be here. Um, <laughs> you could go the other way too. <laughs> in which case it don't matter. But, <laughs> but you need to be mindful in your preparation. You have to be working with Archangel Metatron. Oh, if you don't want to do the live courses, I'm sorry. If you don't want to do the live courses... I have uh, pre-recorded courses over at gumroad.com slash angel souls. You can get those over there. There's workshops over there if that's a little bit more budget friendly for you because you need this, okay? Again, even if you're not practicing with me, even if you're not getting one of my courses, make sure you're doing it. Metatron, Sandalfin, Michael, Uriel, Gabriel, do it. You need this protection. You need to be activating your Merkaba making sure that that is charged up in a proper way. That's why I'm offering that class. But I'm not going to just let somebody who's just kind of curious about what a Merkaba is come in and book a one-hour session with me and you're not getting it, okay? Like it's not ethical for me to take your money and just like throw words at you and you can't do anything with it. You see what I'm saying? That's why I'm doing that process and the way that I'm doing it. So the reason for this is that if you're not focusing on your spiritual wellness, if you're not raising your frequency, you're not working on your ascension process, if you're not being self-aware and you still have some bit of cruelty or judgment within you, uh, that's kind of human, so you're going to have a bit of it. But I'm, you know what I'm talking about, like the extreme stuff. Then every time something happens, you are going to take it at face story value. You're going to take it at face, story, value. And you will continue to be affected by it. You will continue to be controlled by it. And pretty soon you're going to be used up by it. Now, I'm not encouraging anybody to sit here and act like every everything is a hoax or it, some of it is a hoax, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> yeah, some of it is absolutely a hoax. But anything that gets in to scare you, and you can't see it for what it really is. And even as I say that, some of you are going to be like, yeah, that's right. I see through everything. You're not on there either. You're not on there either. If you're like, well, I saw that story and I knew exactly what was going on behind it. Your ego's too involved. You don't know. Because the knowing is quiet. The knowing can't be put into words. There are going to be people out there this just recently happened to me I started remembering some things from childhood and uh some of the more like I was I was that weird kid you know like <laughs> very in touch with the other side and I remembered seeing these cloaked figures and they were shadows and I was terrified of them and I had such a deep understanding and actually, as I grew up, I was kind of shocked that nobody else remembered this. I was like, I didn't call them angels. I just knew that they were like the good guys, right? And I was like, help me, get them out of here, you know? And they would leave. I just recently uh, saw somebody on the clock app. I believe it was the clock app. Maybe it was this platform, I don't remember. Um, I was just scrolling and I came across this person who described the same hooded figures. And she used a certain word for them. I don't want to put that word in here. And she asked, uh, if I remember correctly, I think she's Christian. And she, so she said, you know, I asked the Lord, what was that about? Why would you allow these beings to be around? And the message that came through her, I need to start writing down where I'm hearing this stuff. If you run across this person, this will sound familiar. It's not me coming up with this. This is what this person came up with. Um, but um, the answer that came through her 
was that if if you're going to incarnate and be in charge of working against and fighting that type of energy, you need to know what that looks like. You need to know what you're up against, basically. And I'll tell you, that stopped me in my tracks because what she was describing was exactly what I experienced when I was, I'm talking little, a little kid, these cloaked figures looming very tall, at least 12 feet tall, maybe 10, 12 feet tall, something like that. And it didn't feel good. It wasn't fun. And there were some really, really awful things that were happening to me as a child that somehow the adults around me could not see. And at the time I was like, what is going on here? But it was weird. It was like, it was like they were shielded and they couldn't see anything because they were genuinely hurt when they found out what had gone on. They were genuinely shocked and feeling guilt and, you know, all that. So they genuinely did not see it. So there is a thing that's coming through me right now, energetic sacrifice, where a dark energy will filter into someone who's open to it. And it's usually somebody who doesn't love themselves, who things are not worthy of love. It filters into them and now they're out of their minds. Now do not come at me and say, Michelle, you're making excuses for evil people. I ain't the one. Keep to yourself. Don't you twist my words. It's a new day, honey. We're not doing this. Do not twist my words. This is something that is coming through me right now to deliver to you. And that's all my job is. It's not to take whatever your opinion is around that. She said, what? Be aware of your judgments. This is the way you need to go. And if this is making you uncomfortable, you better watch every week then. (laughs) You need some exposure therapy, okay? Because you need to get used to this. This is the way. So in my case, the, the people who were inflicting harm upon me as a child were also children themselves. These were children who were being programmed by, in some cases, the adults in their life. That was the case for one of them. The others were being physically abused themselves. And what does that do? Pushes the light down. The light, maybe you want to see it as hiding. I don't know. This isn't like scientific talk I'm doing here. I'm just trying to take this intangible concept and put it into words. But it leaves them open to be influenced. And the children who then, I feel like in in my particular case, they were like puppets. And I know this because this wasn't the same feeling I I think that I would get because later on there would be also an energetic sacrifice that would happen towards me. And it was done by an adult male. I think he was conditioned as well, but I make no excuses for him. Children, though, children are innocent. I can save it. Save it. If If you have something constructive to say, offer it. If this is just wow, 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 I no, no, don't twist my words. I really don't think these children knew what they were doing. As a matter of fact, one got even more abused when it came out what happened. And I remember feeling so hurt for that kid, even though that, that child had hurt me. I felt bad for that child because I knew they were hurt as well. And they're getting even more hurt. The very thing that probably, like, I I didn't have this context then, but, you know, the very thing that left that kid open to have whatever these dark figures were, to influence them and harm each other, right? Like, there is an energetic sacrifice that's coming out of that. Those are the kinds of things that are going to be breaking open 
we're going to realize, and I've been saying this in personal readings too, um, we're going to realize more and more that it's less about magic and wishful thinking and more about understanding us and our energy as a technology. We are the technology. And just how precious and valuable that energy is, especially sacral chakra energy. There can be something really beautiful that comes out of this. We can pray, we can meditate, we can heal, we can recharge. But do not be shocked when more and more of these revelations start popping up. I'm just listening. You need to heal that wounding. Yeah, I have Michael in here. Gabriel, of course. You can't be shallow anymore. You just can't. Guess what? You probably will be late on all your bills. Guess what? You may not be able to pay your credit cards. Guess what? You might default on loans. I hope you don't. I'm not encouraging that. Of course not. We're being manipulated, obviously. We're, there's some measure of control, obviously. Like, that's not news. God, my eyes twitching now talking about this. Um, you're going to start to understand. And if you've healed enough, this understanding might come with some discomfort. But as you see, I've had this understanding. There, there are things that have happened to me. And this is the other thing, too, that if you know you, you're here to fight the darkness, you have weird stories. I mean, in the first, let me think about this, first eight years of my life, there were the abusers. Okay, so there was that. Um, actually, we're having nasty weather and it started making me think of when I was a kid and uh, we barely got away from me and my family barely got away from a tornado. Like, literally, like it was pulling on the car and pulling it. Uh, <laughs> that happened when I was about, I don't remember how old I was, five, six, something like that. Um, we were in a restaurant one time. And um, I want to be careful what I say here, but there was the McDonald's K uh, going around to restaurants and doing awful things. And there, there were people imitating that person so there was a group that was in a restaurant and me and my family were in there i was like seven i want to say i think seven and one of the people from that group followed me to the bathroom and was standing there talking to me and um we had we were just trying well not me i was little i didn't know what was going on until later but like my parents are trying to like strategically get us out of there and we did um they didn't get anybody in that restaurant there was a whole car chase all these law enforcement vehicles flying at us when we were trying to get away like it was a whole thing it was a whole thing and that was um because if i remember if if it's that story that i remember again i was a kid but i vaguely remember there being something in the newspaper about how there was like a heroic teenager who snuck off and called the police and got them there before anything could happen so that all happened early on in my life and then um Later on, I'm like I said, it's going to be a long video. I'm just going to lay it all out there. Later on, you want to talk about, like, this is sexual energy. So for me, sexual energy sacrifice, okay? So I said that in my 20s, there was somebody who did something awful. There was another time when someone tried to do that early in my 20s, but um, I was able to get out of that situation. Yeah, so that's two. That's two. You with me? Then I get into working in corporations. The very first job I had in New York City, um, the CEO, this was the, well, I, I worked for a lot of CEOs. I want to put this out there because there are some um, nasty, toxic people out there right now who might be tracking these videos. I know I sound so paranoid, but they're nosy. I'm not paranoid. I'm not scared of them. I can handle them, but they're nosy. So, you know, they're out here like, what are you doing now? You know. Or maybe not, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. But anyway, <laughs> the first job I had in New York City, um, this was in 2003. Yes, that long ago. 2003, the CEO of like a hedge fund or something like that and um, got me behind closed doors, propositioned me, wanted me to be a kept woman, I guess. I guess that's what you call it. Anyway, it was 
it was what you thought. Like, I'm trying, I'm saying no. I'm trying to get out of there. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to go into it. But it was, it was a horrible situation. <sighs> Sexual harassment was like a real thing for me. And what was funny is I always, you know, from being abused, part of the thing that I think a lot of people do when they've had um, sexual trauma is that we tend to carry a lot of excess weight. It can go the opposite way too, where people try to make themselves very, very thin. So they're almost like disappear. Or you're trying to cover yourself so much because fat is deemed ugly. So when you're fat, everyone leaves you alone. I'm much more comfortable being big than being a normal size. And it's not about how you look per se, but like fat is just so gross to so many people. They just kind of ignore you and pretend you're not there. Um, but it's not, it's not about like actual looks, even if I were thin, it's more about control. Who can I control? Who is, who is vulnerable enough for me to take advantage of? So there's lots of sexual harassment. There were some very weird situations, but all of it was sexually driven and meant to take that from me in some way. These are the things that you are going to start to realize about yourself and your experiences. Maybe it's different for you, but you're going to start understanding this on a deeper level and you have to be ready. You have to be ready to handle this. Okay. So for you, if it's getting a therapist, you got to be careful what kind of therapist you're going to, because like I've shared so many times, um, technically I've had two therapists in my life. There are a couple of like stand-ins. So I've come across a few that just had no business practicing, no business practicing because they had that darkness working through them. And so as I'm sitting here trying to work through these traumas, guys, I got blamed. <laughs> ah, that I could get upset about. Um, I got blamed, um, called a liar, you know, all these things. So be careful who you go to, stand strong. You set those boundaries. If someone is not giving your story enough of what you deserve, uh, then get out of there. Get out of there. You deserve better. Okay. These are the things that you need to be ready. These realizations, these revelations, again, it's going to look different for every single person. That's why I offer the services I do. Okay. I'm not a therapist. So if you need to get with a therapist and do some spiritual practice, spiritual wellness, by all means do that. Spiritual wellness readings, angel readings are not a replacement for therapy. Okay. Be on the lookout. A lot of you are going to get called out on your behavior. You're going to realize that your games are not working anymore. Some of you who have been enablers, you're going to be going through probably the worst of it. Um, just being, feeling like you're in turmoil and feeling like, I, I don't know what to believe. I don't, uh, I'm like having this split this personal splitting that's going on as far as world events um buckle up buckle up this i could go on another hour i mean obviously they're going to be locked down so there's gonna be all these things happening meanwhile you're having um things that are coming into your awareness for you as an individual are you healthy enough are you ready for all of this you've been trying to get your prepped and obviously there are people who came well before me right who have been doing really beautiful work and trying to get us prepped as well if you stay in the old way you're going to suffer but i've talked enough um i will leave it there i love you guys be safe be well hang in there <laughs> take care